Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is a VBA tip. It's about updating the status bar. If you want to follow along, go to ExcelExperts.com and on search the site, just type status bar or one word, and then you'll get to this VBA tips number 10 update status bar. You can download the spreadsheet, the code, the screenshots, and the description of, of the uh, tip itself. So, the example is this, you've got a large piece of code that runs and it takes a long time and when your users press your button they don't really know what's happening. So they don't know whether the code's running, they don't know where it is in the process and you want to, you want to give them some kind of update. Also for your own benefit if you're trying to debug it. So let's see our example here. In this example we are uh, changing this value a thousand times from one to a thousand and we're going to update this which is the status bar. Let's click on that. Notice the iterations said from one to a thousand and then when it's finished it tells me that it's finished. What does this look like in code? So it's just a single sub. At the beginning we, we say application.statusbar processing so that tells the user that it's started. Then for one to a thousand we change the status bar to iteration and the counter here. That makes that dynamic. It's very quick and easy to update the status bar, so don't worry about that slowing down your code. At the end, we say that it's finished, and that's very useful, um, especially for your users and yourself. Let's just see that again. Click on test, iterations, finished. Now, let's step through the code, F8, see that processing do something that takes a long time iteration one two three four get out of that end of the code finished end sub there's also another thing you can do you can say application dot status bar equals false and that actually clears it completely so at the moment we've said finished but what happens if we want to just completely clear it that turns it back to how it was before. False. Okay, you've been listening to excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening.